Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Oh, there's a question for you from uh, Kevin in D.C. has some thoughts to ask you, Carlos. Yeah. Hi, Kevin. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. Hi. Everybody. Good morning. Yes, uh, Carlos, patron state of telling Cretans uh, over and over again that uh, letting the perfect be the enemy of the good mm-hmm. is insanity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. What do you think? You know, why, why do you think we can't learn? You, we, you know, in, in 2000, uh, Ralph Nader mm-hmm. uh, yep. helped along, no matter how many of his fans try to deny it, he helped, he helped uh, uh, result in an eight-year wide-awake nightmare of Bush. Mm-hmm. Yes, in, uh, and, and the best. There, yeah, yeah, and in 2016, you know, uh, re- you know, throwing up your hands and refusing to vote for Hillary and voting third party uh, helped to lead to Trump, which right. was remarkably even worse. And now here we go again with uh, Kennedy, of, uh, Kennedy of all people, uh, trying to primary, primary Biden, and Cornell West, who makes me want to vomit, uh, uh, is, is running third party. How many times do we have to go through this? It's not like the the the, the competition is, is is basically saying we're like okay, I can put up with them four years. Right. They are lunatic fringe now, and yet we're still doing this. Can you please explain to me, especially if you're a woman, you are a, 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 a really not a citizen right now. Your reproductive True. rights are, are gone. Mm-hmm. If you're black like me, you are voter suppressed to the hilt several states. So despite you know, I'm not a a, a, a full class citizen. And I'm going to come to the end of my rant in a second, but it's just infuriating. I, I learned not to bump my head or put my hand on the stove after one time. Right. I don't need yep. several times to get it. Right. So why are we here, Carlos? Please, someone give me a... Talk him off the ledge, Carlos. Give my uh, logical reason. So many, things, so, so many things to mind, right? right. And first of all, people will say, well, Gore didn't get enough d- Democrats to vote for him, and so why blame Nader? Well, at, that, at best, you have in that argument that you're doing something bad along with the Democrats that didn't vote for Gore. That's the best defense you have, which is not a defense. Right. Yeah. People continue to stand up in the lifeboat because of because they're psychologically not developed adults. Uh, the Kennedys, at least no labels could have used a minority as their spokesperson instead of a woman that looks like a Karen <laughs> yeah. who's been yeah. all over Twitter. It is a psychological thing. It's people want to believe that they have agency, and George Carlin has told you you don't. This is a binary system. It's two political yeah. parties. We don't like it. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. The child in me does not like it. The child in me wants more choices than Biden and more choices than Trump. That's the child. Mm-hmm. The adult in me, the one that's not Albert Brooks in Lost in America, <laughs> does not believe that the casino will give the money back. Right. I'm smarter than that. I grew up, I got some therapy, and I realized I don't have any agency to change the world like Cornell West thinks he's going to do, or Greenwald, or Jimmy Dore, or Tim Pool. You're not, yeah. you're doing <laughs> nothing. Good day, sir. <laughs> so what it is, how we need to talk uh-huh. people off the ledge is to say, I'm sorry, but psychologically you're a child if you vote for Kennedy, if you vote for Jill Stein. You need to grow up. You need to eat your vegetables. There's only two choices. I'm sorry, but that's, that's what reality is serving today. Mm-hmm. Joe Biden and I- or Trump. I don't like it. You don't like it. But the adult makes the adult. Noam Chomsky told. Yes, thank all, you. The Jimmy Dore loved Noam Chomsky. Mm-hmm. But as soon as <laughs> he said it was a mistake not to vote for Hillary when Trump was uh, right there at the at the wall, mm-hmm. he, he's always a sellout mm-hmm. because they want to continue to peddle some sort of childish belief that they can make a difference. You, you can't make a difference. All you can do is vote. I'm sorry. That's reality. So and, that's and I, and how I we talk. These, keep these people from standing up in the lifeboat. You're going to sink the whole ship. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I, I could see real quick, uh, just real quick, like I found out as a as a young man, you know, when just just on a minor scale, I found out not to do things that clearly don't work. And I was right. young, and I would see guys cat call it women. Mm-hmm. Not one time did the woman go, "Oh yes, come here, baby. Oh yes, I love you." <laughs> yeah. Please step to me. I learned early, girl, that doesn't work. Mm-hmm. So I never did it. Right. I didn't have to have it, you know, be cursed out or 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 reported over and over and over again and still not get it. I saw the first time women don't like you catcalling, so I didn't do it. Right. I don't get why this this, this can't be understood that voting third. You know how advanced we could have been if we'd gone from a gore all the way through to now? Everything Mm -hmm. people want. Climate change, women's rights, 
mm-hmm. gay right, mm-hmm. uh, Supreme black Court. right. Yeah. Supreme Court, it, we would have so advanced by now. It has the same cult-like appeal as MAGA. Yeah. They want to believe that they can belong to something that will be transformative. And <laughs> It's a cult. Yeah, Jimmy Dore's followers, it's a cult. Yeah. And you can tell by the responses to something when you say it again. They come out like lemmings. Sure. How dare you? I bet you do this, and I bet your income's this, and you are no, you only have this many followers. And that's their defense. Mm-hmm. They re- they want to make a difference, but they're just cult followers. Yeah, yeah. Are you feeling any better, Kevin? Yes, I am. It, it does feel good to, to vent. That was good. <laughs> oh, good. good. Kevin, you're an adult. Uh, yes, I you're an adult. You yes, Get you it are. off your chest. You're, you're, a good, you're a good man, and we'll talk to you hopefully tomorrow. Have a good day. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> oh, he set me up. I, I swear he I didn't did. pay him to, <laughs> to call in. Uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is that the Republicans learned after, uh, uh, what's his face, with Clinton, um, who was winning between... Uh, Ross Perot. Thank you. Yes. They learned from Ross Perot. Do I, not do this. I voted for Ross Perot. Yes. Well, I'm glad. You're welcome. I'm glad Here's you do. Here's the deal. You're going to hear a giant sucking sound. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I think Chris taking votes. He, he was, from, the, uh, from he the, was Democrat. the first presidential candidate I voted for. Really? Yeah. He kind of was right about NAFTA, though. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. And he got a lot of votes. I mean, it's not but like... But Ross, was, Ross Perot was fine when dictatorship was not on the line. Exactly. Right. Thank, right. You. Yeah. thank you. Thank the you. Thank you. The stakes are too high for you. I And Kevin will appreciate this. Kevin and I and all the rest of us here at Stephanie Miller, we're Dwayne Johnson in Night of the Living Dead. We're boarding up the windows and no labels and Kennedy are the guys on the couch going, what are you doing? We're like, get up and help us board the windows. Right. Exactly. We're not going to find the cure to why people are turning into zombies. That's not going to happen. What will, what needs to happen is to keep the zombies, Donald Trump and that party from getting back in the White House. So get off that couch, put down that shotgun and help me put some boards up on the windows. We are Dwayne Johnson's you are the losers on the couch. That was a great analogy. Absolutely. For anybody who's seen Night of the Living Dead. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Dwayne. Did I say Dwayne Johnson? Is it? It's Dwayne Jones, isn't it? Dwayne Jones. Dwayne, the, Jones. Dwayne Johnson is the Rock. Yeah, he's the Rock. Sorry, Dwayne Jones. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah.